All right, listen, girls. I've been waiting for this day. I thought I'd get the diploma and start singing with joy. But it feels somehow sad. Our standout took too much to study. <laughs> Luba, who needs your diploma with honors in the village? And now you'll be thinking about different things now, about your wedding and your family life. Luba, I envy you so much. So who's the lucky guy, huh? He's from the village. He's my first love, and has been since school. You don't sound very happy when you talk about your love. Because I don't know. Vanya's a good guy. But my feelings are not the same anymore. Perhaps we got older. These are first world problems. Ivan's a handsome and determined guy. He'll graduate, become a prosecutor, and you'll still have a problem. Oksana. Oksana what? If Ivan asked me to get married to him, I'd follow him to the end of the world. And without thinking. <sighs> hey, girls. How'd you like Natalia Petrovna's dress? <laughs> yeah, it's and don't thing. forget about that bow. <laughs> Well, speak of the devil. Hello, future medical workers. Congratulations on your graduation. Ah, uh, I'd kiss you, but it might just offend my girlfriend. <laughs> Lubov, why are you standing there? Come on now. Ivan, <laughs> but I thought we agreed that you'd come tomorrow. I need to go to the dorm, pack my things, and say goodbye to the girls. Yes, but Luba, I'll bring your things in a few days. As for your lady friends, it's time to say goodbye, because all you need is me. Jump on. <laughs> Love and love. Ivan, why are we here now? We should go home. And let's wait for the rain to stop under here. You see how hard it is? Huh? Hmm. <sighs> Come to me. You're all right? Uh-huh. Yeah, Stepanich's house is good. We could very well live here if we clean it up. Ivan, just don't forget that this house has an owner. Yeah, I remember. But your uncle will hardly come back from the elderly house. But it's still wrong to squat here. Hmm. Do you remember how tasty Stepanich's apples were? Uh-huh. Oh, they were so sweet. Yeah. They got wild without him, and the house suffered. Yeah, that, that's what I'm talking about. We'll invest the wedding money in the whole place and install a new roof and windows. Then we'll live here, huh? Yeah, I keep on dreaming. I'm not dreaming, but I'm practical. Hmm, you're so practical. I haven't even thought about that. And what is my precious bride thinking of then? <sighs> Ivan, I'm going to become a doctor. I'm passing my test this summer. Going to the city? You're going to abandon me. Why are you doing this? You're a paramedic. It's more than enough for the village. You agree? I thought that you'd support me. Yeah, Luba, but, um, the wife should be by her husband's side. Watch the house, nurse the kids, take care of the vegetable house. Who's going to feed the husband if he comes home all hungry and tired from work, huh? You should hire a maid, then. A what? Well, then somebody else would clean up. Hold on, somebody else, huh? <laughs> and who might that be, huh? Yesterday, on June 12th, 1991, the election of the first president of the Russian Federation took place. According to the preliminary counting, the leading position is occupied by Boris Yeltsin. Oh, who received that sounds like Yeltsin. Mm -hmm. of the votes. Mmm, the pancakes smell so good, Mom. Oh, daughter. Oh. Mm -hmm. We... We weren't expecting you. Uh, hmm? How did you get here so early? We thought you'd do everything in the city and take the bus at night. I wasn't going to. Ivan came on his motorbike and took me here. 
He said he'd grab my things at the dorm later. Mm. It seems like he's been missing I'll you. I'll get your cup. All right, let's see your diploma. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, well, here's your Look. tea right here. So oh, here oh, it is, oh, you oh, see? Oh, 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 wow, mm. and with honors, too. Oh. Mm. Mm. Alexandrovna, Alexandrovna Lubov, Lubov Makarovna. Well, now we can finally fall ill. <laughs> We've got our own paramedic. No, you'd better stay healthy. I decided to enter the university. I want to be a doctor. Does Ivan know that? Mm -hmm. He's against it. He's changed a lot recently. He gives orders <gasps> and likes to decide my life for me. Well, that's all because he's a man. Lubov, forget that idea at once, please. Just be ready for the wedding. Uh. That, and I forgot the president came by recently and asked when you would be returning to work. Mm. The medical station's closed, so all they have left is the center, you know? I'll go tomorrow, Dad. I just need to purchase some medicine. Oh, mm. now we're talking. That's a good girl, and I'll bring the med kit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me help you, Father. Asmus got to me somehow. It's hard for you, isn't it? You should sit down. Glad I don't have anything that hurts me yet. Lubov's complaining, though. Don't give her too many orders. She doesn't like it. Oh, it's time for helpful recommendations. Will I have to install a fence? so that no one pokes into our life? What a punk. Hmm. When you throw that bouquet, you better aim it at me, because I want to <laughs> get married too. I'm tired of being single. Who will you marry? Oh, who cares? I could marry your Ivan. Oh, oh why not? I'll just lure him from you. As far as I can see, you're not even happy. Maybe you're right, if we're being honest. Oh, Luba, you don't even know what you want. All I want is respect and mutual understanding. And Ivan only has one argument for any situation. In my opinion, doesn't matter to him at all. Look, he's a simple country man, and time works wonders. Yeah, that's what my dad says, too. Come on, now stop it. Listen, I've realized what's missing with us. Some long gloves. Long white elbow gloves, just like in the movies. They're very beautiful. Why on earth would I need those? You don't want gloves? What do you mean? You're going to be the most beautiful bride. Right? We'll go to the market tomorrow. And buy you gloves, and then walk around the city. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Bum, bum, ba bum, bum, ba bum, ba bum, ba bum. I would have never thought that buying gloves would be so difficult. Let's forget it and go home. Oh, no way. Did we come this far for no reason? No, we'll get them, Lubov. You're going to be the most beautiful bride and make all the girls jealous. Look, aren't these great? Yeah? Pretty ladies, don't pass me by like that. For a tiny sum, I'll uncover your truth. Go away. You'll lie for a penny anyway. I won't keep insisting. I will tell the Colonel's wife's fortune. Show me your hand, darling. Huh. I know, she's lying. Where are you seeing a colonel's wife? It's obvious you don't know anything. There's going to be a wedding in your life very soon, but you won't recognize your groom right <sighs> away. Ivan, huh? Beware of all the troubles. You'll forget about them soon, but when you stop thinking about them, they'll return with an impact. All right, that's enough, ma'am. I can see an absolute fraud in your life and some betrayal and a prison, <laughs> but the worst trouble will come from a man you already know. Beware the man you're trusting now, for he lies to you and you do not know him. Listen, Lubov, let's go, huh? Uh, let's go. Lubov! Look what I just found. <gasps> Ooh, they're awesome. Why are you frozen? Which ones do you like? Huh? These here. Oh, these here? Mm -hmm. Want to try them on? How did she even come up with that, Colonel's wife? Why not a general's wife? Lubov, are you a general's wife? Well, it takes marrying a military <laughs> man, at least. Look, the bus has been canceled. The next oh. one's in two hours. Damn it. And we nearly even made it. Hey, how about we try to hitchhike? Because I don't want to stay here. Let's go. Let's go.
Such pretty ladies and no security. Will you give us a ride? Get in and we'll give you one. Well, we won't refuse since you <laughs> asked. We'll take you anywhere you want because you're both so pretty. Get in, get in. Let us get acquainted now. Lieutenant Evilgen. Or just simply Anton. I'm Oksana, and this is my friend Lubov. Roman Sileev. I came to this area because I wanted to better serve our nation. That's nice, and where are you from? Do you know Sverdlovsk Military Tank Academy? It's close to my hometown. I like it there. Our army always protects us. So what do you ladies do? I'm a paramedic, but just starting out. I'll be working at the station in Nesterovo. I dreamt that my future wife will be a doctor. <laughs> so why aren't you entering the university? That's what I'm saying. You really need to leave the village. Well, if you want me to, I can help you prepare for it. Oh, that's terrific. It's raining cats and dogs. Come on, so we can get back in. Lubov, check them out, huh? They're really not like our village simpletons. Oh, they're nothing special. Why did you come out here anyway? Because I like the rain. The girls are pretty, by the way. They are. Especially Lubov. Lubov and Roman. Like true love and romance. Roman's totally got his eye on you. It's so obvious. So perhaps you need a husband like him. Yeah, he's good looking. So what? <laughs> A military man moves a lot. I just wanted a ride. Fasten your seatbelts. Cast off the stern line. Well, good job, boys. We didn't even have a minute to whisper. You picked us to pieces, right? What were you talking about? We were saying that you're very nice guys. Even though you're all wet and dirty. We'd gladly wash up somewhere. Well, we'll be driving near the river soon. Thanks so much, girls. We couldn't have done it without you. We should be thanking you. Now it's clear why soldiers run off far away to Glukovo. <laughs> Are all the girls as beautiful as you? Soldiers used to go there, but not much anymore. Just hang in there, comrade lieutenant. You don't look very good. The commander can't see, and the girls will forgive us. It's so beautiful over here. The forest, the river. Oh, I could use some hot tea about now. You can have tea in the canteen. And there's a spring nearby. You've never tasted such water. Hmm, that's interesting. You'll show me? Hey, Lubov girl, don't lose your way back. The spring is right here. With healing water, by the way. It invigorates you. They call the river rejuvenating for a reason. It's beautiful. And you're very beautiful, too. Don't judge a book by its cover. I'd read your book forever. Here you go. It's so cold. It literally burns. <sighs> no, don't do that. You're very beautiful. I liked you at first sight. When I saw you, I died. Will you stop? We're going to drift apart and never see each other again. Don't you say that. If you send me away, I'll come for you in a tank. Okay, now you press the left pedal with your left foot. Yes. This one? That's the clutch. Okay. Yeah, so now turn on the gear, the first one. Yeah, to the left, and... Okay. Upwards. Oh. Great, now you need to release the brake and Yeah, move. I see. Oh. 
Oh, wow, there you are. You two certainly took your time, huh? Yeah. Hey, Anton, you'll have to taste this water. The spring is not far from here. <laughs> and get some brushwood. <laughs> Apparently, you guys had some fun by the spring, huh? <clears throat> Listen, do you all hear that? Oh, my God. Come on. It's okay, come on. All right, give me your hand. Uh, give me your hand. Uh, okay, that's right. Uh, you got it, uh, you got it. Uh, okay. Come on. Are you alive? How are you? Did you swallow Let me a lot? Know. Hey, can you hear me? Hey, where's your mother? Dad got drunk again, and he beat my mom. I ran away. Hey, kid. You're Robinson Crusoe. You won't get far on a float like this one. Thank Auntie Luboff that she saw you in time. You're the one who saved him. You're bleeding. Let me take a look. I'm fine and will be good as new. Although, sure, you can look. I'll trust a real professional medic. All right. Goodbye, then, ladies. Thanks for giving us a ride. Vasca, come on. I'll take you home. Come on. You're always welcome. Hey, and don't miss your bus anymore. Lubov, wait up here. We can't walk away from each other. We should go out tomorrow. I'm sorry, I can't. And the day after tomorrow, then? You don't understand. I can't do it. Not tomorrow and not the day after. Not ever. I'm getting married soon. Is this a joke? Goodbye. May you have a good life. Hurt you? I told him that I was getting married. He got upset. Oh my goodness. Did you fall in love? Hush your mouth. Don't be ridiculous. I mean, had I met Roman before? He's an officer. And a promising one. Yeah. And he's reliable. You don't see many of them. <laughs> so what do you and I then think about children? Well, I'm still going to the university. And Roman was supportive of that, by the way. He got a hold of you, Roman. Oh, yeah, he certainly did. <laughs> Ah, oh, man, what a day this was. From dirt into the river. That's right. On the other hand, we got to meet some really nice girls today. Lubov's really great. Roman! Bro... Have you fallen in love? Well, it's not hard to fall in love. Lubov's a nice and courteous girl, and she treats life seriously. So what do you think? Get married? 
she's already getting married. Oh, so that's what it is. So then, Roman, get her out of your head. <laughs> yeah, keep dreaming, man. Tankers never give up. <laughs> <laughs> Life. Uh, Man, get out. Uh, are you trying to kill yourself? Mate, I'm sorry. It's my uh, fault. It's my wedding soon and I had uh, a bit to drink. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry. And my mother in law told me to bring dishes uh, from the canteen. How are you, man? You idiot. You could have ended up in the graveyard instead of your wedding feast. Oh, I understand it all well. I beg you to have some pity, please. Let's sort this without the police. I'll ask the local and they'll make sure your car is as good as new in an hour. In the meantime, we'll take you to get checked out. Please, just don't call the police, huh? All right, all right, all right. Don't worry, but I need to get to the unit by lunchtime. Yeah, yeah, sure. You will by then. We'll get you fixed up. Uh, how you doing? It's cool. I'm used to it. I'll be all right. Luba. Hello. Listen, I brought a guy who I got into a car accident with. Patch him up, will you? And I'll deal with his car. Roman, who did this to you? Was it Ivan? Uh. So that loafer's name is Ivan, I guess. He nearly sent me to an early grave. Sit down. <laughs> Easy rider. <laughs> it's not too serious. Let me get medicine. <sighs> Are you hurting? I'm feeling no pain. I want to talk to you. About what? Will you marry me? Well, I already have one groom. Wouldn't it be too many? I don't care about that. Roman, I said I'm about to get married. But we have to be together. <sighs> Here you go. You're all set. All right, Luboff, I'll be waiting for you. You're the one that I want. Oh, here it is. <laughs> well, good job to your boys. I didn't expect it so quickly. All right, Luboff, I'm going now, because I'm already late. I really hope that you'll choose me. Please take care. Patched up the lieutenant. Thank you, Lubov. You saved the day. Oh, I could have been in prison instead of getting married. Uh, at least the guy turned out to be nice, right? Yes, he was very nice to show you. Such mercy like that. All right. Would you have mercy on me, too? Luba, let's close the door, because I've missed you so much. Ivan, stop it now. All right. All right. But you should show some mercy for your future husband. <laughs> Hello there. Long time no see. What's up? How are you doing? I'm all right. You being lazy? I think you are, as far as I can see. I'm resting. I should while the snake's not in the house. huh? Meaning Lubov? Just don't tell her, you hear me? I was joking. Mm hmm. But aren't you afraid? Someone could lure your bride while you're out drinking beer? <sighs> Luba. Come on now. Where would she even go? Well, anywhere. She's free to go anywhere. Ah, oh, we met two officers. Lubov even liked one of them, and he liked her too. What are you talking about? And what officers? 
They were lieutenants. Uh-huh. It's because we missed the bus. So they gave us a ride. And they were so mannerly and well-behaved, too. Lubov said they were nothing like our countrymen. <laughs> anyway, she just melted. I was cold as ice. You know me. Although, if you ever called me, I'd follow you to the very ends of the earth. Just tell me what happened next. Really? Nothing much. The rain started, and then the car broke down. We were sitting by the fire to get dry. Then Luba and that lieutenant went off to the forest. They were gone for a while. They came back, and they seemed so different. <sighs> what a lying bitch. She pretends to be so good and modest. Doesn't say bad words or think any bad thoughts. <sighs> All women are like that. What do you mean? I'm not like that. No, that's what you think. Well, I've got news for you. Ah, some tomatoes here, and cucumbers here. They're really the best chaser for moonshine. Thank God the loaf turned out so well. Oh, I'm supposed to be happy for my daughter, but my soul doesn't feel at ease. Ah, uh, you're just tired, honey. I don't know. We shouldn't have organized the wedding. I don't think things are great between them. Why are women so complicated? You don't like this, you don't like that. She hasn't lived a day with Ivan yet, and oh, yet she complains. Oh, and I admit that is what is bothering me. Listen, they'll get used to one another. Lubov. <gasps> Oksana, hey, you scared girl. me. Lubov, the girls from the school have their prom today, so let's go dancing. How long have you known? I'm getting married tomorrow. So what? All the more reason to go. Your last night out single. Just go without me. I just saw Ivan. And by the way, he's going. And to add, it's with the boys. That's strange. He didn't tell me about it. That's what I'm saying. Lube, now let's go. Why can't you do it if he can? I said we go shake it. All right, then. But not for too long. Mm-hmm. Give me five minutes to change. I'm not in the mood for dancing, and I shouldn't have come here. If you stand up against the wall, he's not going to see you. Want to dance? Some big shot. Oh, man. What a good bride you are. The wedding's tomorrow and she just went out dancing. You were there too. You could have invited me, you know. Why did you go there alone? I went there with Oksana and what's so bad about dancing? You're my wife, so you can't dance. Have you seen married women dancing? I'm not married to you, you yet. You stop embarrassing me! No, you're embarrassing. Why did you hit a man for no reason? You better remember, I'm not your property. What did you say? <laughs> what did you say, huh? Not my property. Ivan! I'll make you my property now. Ivan, You'll be go. mine, huh? Yeah. Let uh, me go. Yeah, huh? Stop it. <sighs> You're messing around with the lieutenant. You think I don't know that? I'll wipe that lipstick from your cheek.
Roman, what are you doing here? Waiting for you. But you have to understand... Just tell me you agree. We could run away. Let's run away right now. Roman... You must understand, we can't be together because I'm about to get married. You can still call it off. Can you imagine what everyone would think? My parents spent money and invited the entire village and they wouldn't survive the shame. It's too late to talk about it. Lubov. Roman, I like you very much. But I can't leave. I'm in love with you. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Hello? <gasps> you scared huh? me, you devil. <sighs> Go away. My husband's about to come home. Oh, he won't come home. He's drunk somewhere. <gasps> How can you live with that alcoholic, huh? Are you suggesting that I live with you? Oh, don't rush our plans now. I've got my last evening as a single man, by the way. You're going to forget about me with your young wife, aren't you? Oh, don't be jealous, dear Tatiana. I'd be a fool to abandon such a woman. Ah! Okay. Come on, come on, come on, let's drink. But it keeps getting loose. <laughs> Here they come! Whoa! Here they come! Hey, there they are! A gypsy woman told my fortune with the second egg, and I wonder why she didn't ask just how my groom was looking! Whoa! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah. Whoa. As you know, my dear old family are all military men, even grandmas as big hey. as the team. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Hello, fine folks. Where are you coming from? And also, where are you going? We're here for the bride. Mm. And after all, you sell and we will buy. Hurry up and show us your lady. Mm. Well, for the pretty bride, a lovely bottle of champagne. And how about a chocolate bar for the beautiful bride as well? And a bottle of wine <laughs> will be thrown in for her dress. Enough talk. Now you give us your money. And don't you romance another pretty girl, hmm? Do it, do it, do it. It's all right. Yeah. Yeah? Huh? Oksana, Roman's come for me. Oh, this is bad. What'll you do? Why is he here? I told him I wasn't free. I told him. Oh, God, what will people say? Oh, this is crazy. What'll you do, Lubov? What are you gonna do? I don't know. That old gypsy woman. Said I wouldn't recognize the groom. I'll never forgive her. I can't believe this is happening right now. Well, I counted it. But I'm sorry it won't work. What's this the is problem? bad money. Come on, pay for the bride like you're supposed to. Oh, come on, man. I want you to know your bride isn't worth a penny. What did you just say? You want to know? Ask your daughter what she did with the lieutenant in the forest the other day. Ivan, please, get a hold of yourself. What lieutenant do you mean? Lieutenant, that's right. What is he doing? I'm here to set things straight and tell you all He's the embarrassing truth. me in front of everyone. You thank me that I'm telling that's you it, I'll show him. As I am, all right? What have I done? Well then, want a party? Dar? Huh? Come here, Oh, honey. the bride. Look at her. Lubov, the bride's daughter. Here. Lubov, where are you going? Wait, where are you going? Lubov, honey, where Lubov. are you going? Wait. Lubov, Lubov, wait, come back. Lubov, Lubov, where are you going? Stop, go Lubov! Catch her and bring her Lubov, back, come back! Please. Look, the lieutenant. Lubov, Lubov, come back! Lubov! Lubov, you broke Lubov, my heart. Lubov, I knew it. She's leaving. How could you She's do leaving, this to just us? Like that. Oh, Lubov. my darling, Lubov, Lubov! Ivan, why are you just standing there? That man's stealing your bride. Get in the car and go catch up to him right now. Ivan, listen to me. You're sneaking through the field, over the old bridge past the farm. Can you hear me? You'll block their way, but hurry up! Oh, 
Where are you going? What about the wedding? Come on, let's go. Don't you touch me. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ah. Roman. Ah. Roman! Ah. 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 Off me. Stop. Roman, stop, stop it. I've had enough to break my arm. Ah. Don't do it! Ah. 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 What do you want? Ivan, I'm waiting for you. Are you here to tell me something about Lubov? Because you're right on time. Ivan, I'm sorry, but you can see that I wasn't lying. So what? Ivan, don't torture yourself. But why would you want a wife who doesn't love you? So what? Ivan, I am the one who loves you. I'll give you my heart and soul, all of me. You know it. You can keep me company, because I'm free now. Sorry, I wasn't expecting any guests today. Why don't you stand there? Well, let's drink. No, Ivan, you know I don't drink. Oh, yeah, that's right. Look at me, Oksana. Come on, let's toast. Well, I... Huh? Here's to love. Huh. I don't give a damn about love. <sighs> Ivan, don't torture yourself. It's better to break up straight away rather than do it later on. Why are you silent? Huh? Let's kiss now, huh? Ivan, perhaps we shouldn't. Why shouldn't we? Why are you here then? You said you loved me. Hmm. Yes, Comrade General. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Of course, I understand. I'll be there tomorrow. Roger that. See you. Yeah. All right. Give me a smile. Cheese. All right. One more. Mm-hmm. Those are lovely. I love you, my son. Mmm, it smells so delicious. All because you're an amazing woman. <gasps> That's enough. We don't want them to hear. Why not? Let them see that I still love my wife after 20 years. I hope you haven't stopped loving me. Well, not at all, General. <laughs> well, I'm not a general yet. Look here, Mom, Dad. But they're already stitching my braids on. And the documents for the next rank have gone upstairs. Really? Mm-hmm. Congratulations, you deserve you. it. Come on, guys, I want to get this. Hold on, son. Don't take it just yet. <laughs> All right, just like that. <laughs> All right, that's enough now. Food's ready, come and get it. Come to the table, the barbecue's ready.
I'm going to remember this day at Alte. Igor must have told you that I'm going away for three months for my practice, right? Since our daughter-in-law is an archaeologist, we are used to it. Dad, check this out. Yeah? Wait. Okay, what is it? Take a look, Dad. We had such a good time over there. Yeah, I can see. Okay, hold it, hold it. Wait, who is that couple right there? Those are Igor's parents. They're a wonderful family. They've been together for 20 years, and they still love each other like they were young. And what are their names? Igor's mother is Lubov Makarovna and works in a maternity home. He's Roman Georgievich. He's a joint staff colonel and is lovely too. So is Igor. He's graduating in a year and I don't know yet, but perhaps after that happens, he and I will go somewhere to possibly begin All our... right, enough. That's enough. I think you'd better... Do your studies. Don't think about boyfriends now. And you should also end it with Igor. Dad. Why on earth can't I date the one I want to be with? Hey, look, you know I don't have to report to you. Break up with Igor, is that clear? You can stay until the morning. Mom's on duty and Dad's at work in the city. I would stay forever. And I would never let you go. Nastya. <clears throat> All right, what the hell's going on here? Dad, I, I can explain it. Uh, my daughter does this? Who the hell are you? Dad, this is Igor, and we're in love. Ah, this is the Igor, the well-brought son of a colonel. So, young man, how did you end up in my daughter's bed? You have to understand that we're grown-ups. Dad, really, it's not bad, and we love each other. All right. Okay, pack your things and get out, and you better make it quick, huh? But it's not Nastya's fault. I insisted. What? You insisted? That's an honest confession. I'm gonna put you on trial, little boy, and you'll regret ever meeting my daughter. But I love her, and we're getting married. Oh, yeah. Dad, what are you talking about? Hush! Do you know what prisoners do to rapists? Do you know how much you're gonna get raped? You just let your mother get prepared. You'll serve a long time, I'm telling you. This is a prosecutor. What does rape have get to out. do with it? <clears throat> Hold on, sir. We didn't get mean out of my any harm. I said, don't you ever come back? I won't see you for three months. I'm gonna miss you. I don't want to leave either, but I've been dreaming about this expedition. Yeah, I know. All right, so we'll be in touch? But we can't be in touch. The phone connection is dead there. There's nothing but mountains. But when I come back, I swear I'll... Mm -hmm. Yesterday was enough for me. Why did your father get so worked up? Forget it. He's got awful character. But when he finally calms down, I'm sure he will forget it. <laughs> I hope so. I just hope that you won't forget about me. <laughs> Nastya, it's time to go. Would you hurry up, please? Okay. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Perhaps we shouldn't do it, I mean. It's a really delicate matter. These are your troubles, Tanya. Fine, very well. Everything will be done in the best way. I'm gonna give you the application. The trial will be closed. 
You talk to the judge. She's your friend. And, well, I'll pay. I'll pay for it. I'll make that squirt rot. You got my girl into bed after all. The jackass. Excuse me, Ivan, but your ideas about sexual things are a little outdated, okay? Young people take it much easier now. I have history with this family. I couldn't sort it out for 20 years. Here you go. You're so full of revenge, Ivan Alexievich. What? Tanya, I'm not full of revenge. I'm only fair. Everyone has to pay. I'll get it. Mom, who is it? Good afternoon, Officer Lukin. Good afternoon. Igor Romanovich? Yeah, uh, what's going on here? You're accused of raping Anastasia Igorovna Nagoda. Wait, Nagoda? The court has ordered to detain you until further notice, so please read this and follow us. What are you talking about? This is a mistake. Anastasia is his bride. Excuse me, who are you to him? His mother. Don't worry, mother. If he's innocent, we'll absolutely let him go. Of course he's innocent. I won't let him go with you. Now that's unnecessary and you should step aside. Mom. And don't interfere with the investigation. Listen, they are just dating. And he loves her, too. You can ask the girl. I'll ask her, so don't Mom, worry. Mom, you don't have to worry about it. They'll, uh, they'll deal with it. And I'll be home in the evening, okay? Well, Your Honor, this is a note from the hospital. Due to acute attack of an illness, the complainant will not be able to be present at the court session. Accepted. Roman, this was Ivan. He is Anastasia's father. I see that. He's getting his revenge. I'm asking you to attach to the facts stated in the case the circumstance that the complainant is the daughter of the district prosecutor. He personally caught the rapist in the act. Your Honor, I'd like the witness to have the floor now, please. The defendant had sexual intercourse with my daughter without her consent, which led to her nervous breakdown and tragic long-term treatment. I consider a total absence of parental authority and upbringing to be the reason for this terrible crime committed. <sighs> Pardon me. Excuse me. <sighs> I'm asking to support the accusation and sentence the defendant to the maximum term. <sighs> Under this article, he deserves no mercy here. Excuse me. Would the defendant please rise? Please, Your Honor. I deeply regret what has happened. But I can say that I didn't rape Nastya. We love each other very much, and we're going to make our love official in the near future. I've informed Nastya's father about it. And I'm confirming my intentions right now. What will the defendant's lawyer say in his defense? Yes, Your Honor. I trust the prosecutor. He wouldn't have blackened his daughter for no reason. However, though, Your Honor, I have no grounds to think that the intercourse with the girl happened on the grounds of mutual respect or anything even close to well-intentioned, Your Honor. The defense is asking you to postpone the hearing in order to hear from the main witness. So thank you. That's all I have. Please, Your Honor. The facts are fake, and Nastya's not in the hospital. She's having her summer student practice. You must follow the order. My son is not a rapist. He and Nastya are in love with each other. This case has been fabricated by the prosecutor. He's taking revenge for an old offense and won't think about his daughter's dignity. Judge Victoria, Your Honor, this is completely out of line. 
You need to leave the courtroom at this time. Oh, this is bad. Five years. They didn't even let us hug our boy in there. What a terrible injustice. That's it. Calm down. Don't cry. There's still a chance the prosecutor can lose. What did Igor even do to him? Or Anastasia? He didn't even pity his daughter. We'll keep on fighting. It's okay. Calm down. Now our son needs our strength. <laughs> you had it coming. You thought you could do anything. Good luck to you. Lubov. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in. Hello there. Where can I get settled? Well, hello, little rapist. <coughs> <coughs> <clears throat> Leave him alone. <coughs> I've been told that he bonked the prosecutor's daughter, and that's it. Let him stay for a while, and we'll see what he's like. <coughs> so everything went smoothly. The brat got five years in prison. Five years? Mm-hmm. Now what for our daughter? What's the problem? Everything will be all right. She'll live through it and come out better. You know who Igor's mother is? Hmm? Lubov. Lubov who? Our old friend Lubov. The girl who used to be your friend. You knew? You knew and it didn't stop you? <laughs> and why would it? Oh, wow. For God's sake, Ivan, you've got to withdraw the application. Do you understand me? This is stupid willfulness. You broke up, and fate got your kids together. Don't spoil their lives. Ivan, think about not. Shut up, you idiot. I've been waiting. Waiting for this moment for 20 years, and I would have been a fool if I didn't do it. Mom, Dad. You're out of your mind. Hello. Hello, my sweetheart. But you're so early, huh, mother? Hello. Nastya. Come uh, on, sit down. Why didn't you warn us, dear? Let me. We could have met you. Hi. Be right well, back. sit down. Take off your bag. Mom? Is everything all right here? Huh? You just don't really look like yourself. I'm OK. You're doing all right? I guess. I'm fine. Come on then, wash your hands. Mm hmm. And then eat. Hmm. Hello. Have you got no shame at all? What else do you want from us? Lubov, what are you talking about? I. I called Igor and he's not picking up. Is he home? Don't pretend you don't know. He's in prison thanks to you. So keep on trying to get through to him. What? What prison is he in? Just don't pretend that you don't know about it. I need to know what happened while I was away. Why is Igor in prison? Dad, it's your work, isn't it? What's the problem? The rascal got what he deserved. What did he deserve, Dad? Well, he shamed you, and our family is why. He has five years to reconsider. Five years? For what, Dad? Five years for raping you. But what rape, Dad? He and I are in love! That's it. Enough. I'll decide who loves who. I've applied, and the court considered it. And quite justly. What's so just about it, Dad? I, I love this man, and for nothing you put my child's father in prison, what? you... 
Hold on, he got you pregnant. All right. You will go to the hospital tomorrow. Ivan! Shut your mouth! You're not having this child. Look, it's only me who gets to make that decision. But I definitely don't need you as a father. Nastya! Sit down! Lubov, wait a sec. Would you just listen to me, please? Why are you here again? I didn't know anything at all. It was my father. He set everything up. He wrote the application instead of me. But that won't help me get my son back. I'll go to the prosecution office and apply for his release. Anastasia, it's not that easy. I... I will never forgive him for that. And I'll never go back home. I just feel sorry for my mom. And who is your mother? Oksana Nikolaevna. She works in the ambulance. She's from the same village as my father, Glukovo. Well, all right then. You can stay here with us, in Igor's room. I don't think he'd be against it. Make yourself at home. I appreciate it. Good morning, Comrade Colonel. General Colonel is looking for you. Oh, thank you. I'm coming. He says there are documents for your next rank. Congratulations. Well, I didn't know, but thank you. <laughs> Oh, I hope you'll invite me when you're celebrating. I will. Uh, hey there. Do you mind if I come in, sir? Yes, do come in, Colonel. I guess you already know the news. The documents came from above. Yeah, I just heard something. I wanted to congratulate you. But they've withdrawn the report on your next rank award. It just happened. Why would they do that? You should be watching your son more closely. Someone told the higher-ups, do you need some help? I'm sure I know someone who could help you out a little. Like a little money. I've got some connections. Um, may I go, Comrade Colonel General? You may. Thank you. Hi, excuse me, sir. You have a visitor. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, my dear Lubov. You look especially amazing today. Tea? Coffee? Thanks, but I'm in a hurry. Hmm. Well, okay then. Straight from Brussels, their Belgian chocolate, brought by a plane just for you. Thank <laughs> you, but I don't eat sweets. Here, this is everything I've managed to collect from our savings. Well, my dear, what do you expect? No one's going to work on such a delicate case for just pennies. You have to understand, rape is a special article, ma'am. Even experienced lawyers don't want anything to do with it. And here we have the daughter of the prosecutor. So here's the thing. Personally, I only took this case because I like you. I like you so much as a woman. Would you just help me? So far, you've only given me promises. I see no real action. My dear, but why are you so nervous? I've got it under control. Listen, I've got an idea. Perhaps we should discuss this issue in a calmer atmosphere, preferably in the evening. I also hope you'll find the remaining amount by then. I'll try to. Goodbye now. 
Basnetsova from Ward 17 and General Urine Sample. Let Chepper and Kova have these taken. <clears throat> My colleagues, I need some money. Can anyone lend me some? Don't be shy, Lubov. How much do you need? As much as you have. I would give you anything. We're saving up for a car, but I can lend a little to you. I could give you some too, but tomorrow, and it'll be safer until my vacation. Thank you so much for that. I'll try to repay you both quickly. Ah, uh, there are four. Okay, the head of, uh, the unit that's Lubov, uh, Markarovna Saleva forces employees of the maternity unit to give her part of their salaries for her own purpose, which is a grave violation of the law. They get a dozen of these anonymous reports every day. The prosecution will respond. Arrange an inspection. Very well. <laughs> Speak of the devil and he will appear. Well, Mrs. Luboff? We're from the Investigation Committee. Good afternoon. How can I help you? Yes, we've received a complaint. You're suspected of extortion. We're conducting an inspection. What's this nonsense? The investigation will deal with it. Okay, Mrs. Luboff? We'd like you to open the drawers of your table now, please. Yes, of course. I have nothing to hide. Bring on the witnesses. Hmm. Go on. Go on. And what is this, Mrs. Luboff? Is this your money? No. Yes, it is mine, actually. It's your money, then. The witnesses saw it. All right, so that's what we'll register. Where did you get all this money? I, uh... The thing is that... The lawyer... Do you mind if the girls leave? I don't want to discuss this in front of employees. They're not girls now, they're witnesses. So where did you get all this money? You won't say? Okay, then. I'm not insisting. That's your right. Let me just write this down that you refuse to testify with us. <sighs> That's it, basically. Yeah, she had to go into debt to hire a lawyer. Okay, but she should have told me about that. Nadezda, listen to me. If you don't help, they can send Luboff to prison. I suspect that our prosecutor friend had something to do with everything. That is possible. But I think some of our employees are mixed up in this, too. She's a decent head of the unit. She must have crossed someone's path. Come on, please. You have to realize that Lubov's testimony alone won't be enough. Well, Mrs. Lubov, I need you to explain to us where you took this money from. I borrowed it from colleagues. It's for the lawyer. To help my son. He's illegally serving his term. Under which article? He's in there for rape. But it's not true. And we'll prove it, but we need money for the lawyer. Why didn't you tell us before? I couldn't tell. In the presence of nurses. No one knows about my problems at work, and I don't need extra rumors floating around. Can you show us the notes from your colleagues? Certifying that you borrowed the money. I don't have any, and my colleagues trust me. Yes, I see. In this case, tell us the names of those who foolishly gave you the money. <sighs> now, 
Now answer my questions. Or you'll remain in a cell until we're good and done here. Miss Makarovna, we will make sure to check your testimony. Would you please sign this protocol here? This will remain with us before the circumstances are cleared up. It's not a criminal case whatsoever. With all my respect for Nagoda, this is regular slander. I didn't bring the money because I was bombarded in my office. Spare me the details. You need to understand, darling. To make them review the case, you need either serious arguments or very influential friends, and you don't seem to have... Either, dear, and useful people are very valuable. I understand, but he's innocent. Well, the court thought otherwise. Listen, dear, you shouldn't hurry me, okay? I met with important people today. I've won support in the city prosecution office, and it took all the advance payments. Yes, but Igor is still in prison. So what? Do you think they declined the appeal accidentally, or do you think Nagoda's in on it? <clears throat> or do you think another lawyer will help you out with this? Believe me, my darling, nobody, nobody is going to upset relations with the prosecutor just for your son. Now, how about I walk you to your home? Hmm? Thank you, but it's not far. Oh, don't hurt my feelings. After you. Well, you shouldn't have bothered. And I told you I live nearby. So am I able to count on you? Of course, yes. But of course, my dear, I hope this is not our last meeting and we'll continue our acquaintance in the informal atmosphere. So to say, because, Lubov, I find you so attractive. No, stop. Get off me. <sighs> well, hello there, my wife and the lawyer. Well, good evening there, Roman. We won't be needing your service anymore, okay? You're free to go. Roman, I can explain everything. I'm going to work. It's clear without explanations. Roman. Roman, come back and just listen. Roman! <sighs> Good afternoon, Roman. Hello, sir. Hi, Nastya. Did something happen? You need to come back home. I don't want to discuss this. Roman, please, you're such a clever man. You really think that Lubov would have given that lawyer a reason? He's a horrible man. And besides, you won't find a better wife than the one you've got. I know that. And I've been thinking that I was too hard on her as well. What should I tell her? You don't have to tell her anything. Just be kind. I should buy her flowers. The white roses. Lubov adores them. I'll bring them to her. Yes, that's a wonderful idea. Thank you, Nastya. Forgive me, Lubov. I was wrong. I got jealous like a little boy. Oh, and we're just about to have dinner. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Well, I love you. I won't let them hurt you. As for that petty lawyer, he got what he deserved. I say we have some tea, hmm? Hmm? It must be dinner time in prison now. And we're here in warmth, with tea and desserts, while my son's eating prison food in that dirty cell with horrible criminals. If I could, I would fly there and carry him away from it. Don't torture yourself with that. I found a better lawyer. I just hope that it'll all play out favorably. God help us. Anastasia, why aren't you eating? I can't even think about eating. You don't need to think about it. You need to eat it. 
and do it properly for two people, considering your condition. Hmm. And how did you know? Because I'm a doctor and nothing gets past me. Wow. <laughs> Are we about to have a granddaughter or a grandson? I'm so glad you're happy about it. Well, my dad told me to get an abortion. Hmm. Did he now? Yeah, and it shocked me too. What did Igor do to him anyway? Well, it's clear. He decided to take revenge on us all. He didn't even think about his daughter. Forgive me, darling. I never thought that my father would be capable of such a low act. I wanted to apply to help, but your parents persuaded me not to. And you shouldn't. Why'd you come back so early from your practice? Because I'm pregnant. What? You're pregnant? You're really pregnant? <laughs> We're gonna have a baby. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait a second. But what are you gonna do? Wait. You'll live in our house for a while. Mom and Dad will help you in the beginning, right? And then, then my problem will be solved. Igor, please don't be mad at me. I just left your parents' house. But why? Well, if my dad finds out that I live with your family, then he'll get even more angry and take it out on you. And I don't want that. That's why I'm going to stay with my friend for a while. Well, all right. <laughs> Anastasia? Anastasia, breakfast is on the table. Roman! Yeah. <sighs> Dear? Thank you for being the dearest and closest people to me, but I have to go. I want to sort it out on my own. I'll stay with my friend. Roman, we have to get her back. Don't be so rash. It's not easy for her. Let her decide where it is best for her. She knows our door is always open. Where did our little girl go? I've already called her friends. She didn't go to the university. Oh, God, I just hope she's safe. And doing well. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm just so worried. Come on now. Why are you so worried? She'll just have her fling and come back home. Ivan, you have a lot of connections with the police. Please do something. Our daughter needs us now. What? Hold on, are you out of your mind? Do I have to embarrass myself because of two stupid women? Huh. I've got some news for you. Your father found a brand new lawyer. I really like how he's handling the case. I just hope he finishes it. And as soon as possible. Oh, my poor darling. I'm so sorry this happened. Mom. Oh, forgive me, I beg you. Mom, what are you saying? The only reason you're here is because of me. Mom, Mom, come on, what are you talking about? Anastasia's father was my groom. You... you never told me any of that. I know. We were neighbors when we were young. And we went to the same school. We were to be married. But several days before the wedding, I met your father and fell in love. I'm still embarrassed to recall it. But I ran away with your father on the wedding day. <laughs> And it looks like Ivan is finally taking his revenge on us. After all these years, he's finally getting even. Mom, but this isn't your fault. You're the best woman alive. And so is Nastya, since she's someone like you. <sighs> I love you, my dear son. Do you know where she is? Mom, you don't have to worry. She's just really upset about her father. She needs some time alone. But if something happens, she's going to call you first. She promised me that. You're my sweet darling son. 
Oksana, can you go any faster? You're like a turtle today. Have mercy on me. I have a headache and I didn't sleep well. Where is our daughter? She's alone and pregnant. Oksana, just go look for her. I'm tired of all of this. You know, I'd run away without thinking. Uh-huh. Just like a dog. You used to run after me and now you'd run after her. That's not right. She's just tired of being humiliated. You're swearing all the time. Judging by the fact that she got pregnant, I didn't swear enough. I should check you too, by the way, and see who you're on duty with at night. That's it. I've had enough and I can't take it anymore. You've turned our life into hell. Oh, you think so? Who the hell are you? You know, I married you just to forget about Lubov. And I didn't have to do that either. Because I could have found someone much better. You should thank me for keeping you, along with your whore daughter. You're such a sick bastard. <laughs> ah! What did you say? I'm gonna call the police now. <laughs> Tell me, who are you gonna call? The police? I have my men on the force and I'm a god. Do you understand? She's gonna call the police. Give me the tie. <laughs> I don't know, Roman. I really can't take it anymore. When will this nightmare be over? Just calm down. Lubov. It'll be all right. Oksana? Good evening. I really need to talk to you. This is... This is a folder. It's a black book on my husband. I think it can help you get Igor out of prison. How would it help? He gave me this folder just last spring. You need to burn this. Are you out of your mind? You want to burn documents? You'll just I want do. them tomorrow. <laughs> then you should make it so. I won't ever find them, huh? Listen, go get some sleep. Aramins will be here any minute, you know. You coming with me? Hmm? Go on. Uh. <laughs> you need to go. <laughs> just don't let me or anyone else find that folder. No, it's I will. Very won't. bad. It's all good. He went to bed. I thought he would be looking for it when he woke up, so I hid it. He woke up and didn't remember, though. I forgot it, too. Oksana, do you even realize how big this is? <laughs> if we launch this folder, lives will be over, and especially Ivan's. Believe me, this decision wasn't easy for me. But I just can't think of any other way to protect my daughter. We should have talked long ago. Oksana came to us yesterday. She's worried about Nastya. Listen, I don't really need for you to... No, you should listen to me. When you left me to die by the side of the road with my head busted, I was lucky Lubov was near, and she found a forester and they took me to intensive care. I survived, but I wasn't mad at you. I loved Lubov, and I justified your actions with your feelings for her. I even blamed myself for not dealing with it in a civilized manner. <laughs> this is all so noble of you. But I was wrong. I've been protecting Lubov for over 20 years, but I still failed to protect her from you. You're a hateful and mean man. You took away our son. Do you have anything to say? You killed our lives. I wasn't the one who sent your son to get my daughter pregnant. And he got what he deserved. Nastya doesn't think so. You can get your daughter's respect back. Yeah? Who the hell are you to tell me how to talk with my daughter anyway, buddy? It would be very useful for you to preserve a good relationship with her. You have a choice. Either you release Igor, or I transfer your black book to the General Prosecution Office with all the consequences to follow. Yeah? <laughs> well, screw you and that black book of nonsense. Yes. It's a delicate and complicated case. 
Your son has been convicted under this article. This is practically impossible to prove participation of the prosecutor in distortion of the facts, and we need a written application from the girl. Well, I'm afraid the girl cannot convict her own father. I understand, but I can't help you, comrade colonel. Even if I wanted to, there are no leverage points to blame Ivan Nagoda. I have the grounds to get him on malpractice and manipulation with criminal cases. I have everything you will need right here. Judging by these documents that he tried to destroy, he was directly interested in hiding the elements of the offense. Well, all right, just leave the folder. And I promise you that I'll deal with it fairly and objectively. Thank you. Lady, Lady, tell us, are you unwell? Lady, uh, sit down. On. You I'm shouldn't fine. stand now. Just sit down. Lady, breathe. Oh, dear girl. Oh, <sighs> my goodness. You're giving birth right now. Call an ambulance. I will. No, it's too early. Yes. You just call them right now. Will do. You are oh. going to be okay, dear. <sighs> oh. Oh. Just breathe. It's okay. Just breathe. We need you. A lady's giving birth here. It's Would okay. you hurry up, please? <sighs> Uh, Anastasia, oh my dear girl, you're here. Uh, oh, how's uh, your baby? Where does it hurt you? No, everywhere. All right, to the operating room. Uh, go, go. Uh, <sighs> it's a little girl. It's a wonderful, beautiful, and healthy baby girl. Oh, this is such wonderful news. She looks like Igor. How's Nastya? She's all right. And you can talk to her in just a little bit. Thank you so much, my friend. <laughs> Materials of the case indicate not a single case of malpractice, but crimes of the prosecutor, Nagoda. That's what it is. Inspection revealed other facts. By means of insistent pressure on his colleagues and the court, he unjustly accused his daughter's groom of rape. Everything's clear about him. I want you to accuse him. Yes, sir. Nastya, my dear daughter. Nastya, dear. All right, come on, come on. Oh, 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 oh. oh who does she look like? Do you know yet? <laughs> I've always dreamed of a daughter. Thank you for the granddaughter, Nastya. She's gonna be loved. Everything is all thanks to you. Oh, come on. You know it's my job. And what is her name? Well, should it be? Maybe you'll call her Lubov. <sighs> yes, yes, after the doctor who brought her into this world. No way, that's such an old-fashioned name now. But on the other hand, it's beautiful. Lubov. Igorovna. <laughs> All right, Nastya. Igor's release is nearly complete, but there are just a few formalities left to be discussed at this time. So we're celebrating your wedding soon, right? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Now let's go to our house. Igor told us to take care of Nastya and the baby, Yes, right? Anastasia. You'll be comfortable at our place. We even bought a bed and a carriage. All right then, Grandpa. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. Yes, thanks a lot. Goodness, she's so beautiful, Nastya. Oh, oh, my little yeah. baby, so Thanks. pretty. Look at her. Igor, my son, you're Mom. free. Hello. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. 
Hi, Dad. Hello. <laughs> so this is our daughter? Okay, let's go now. Come on. All right, Igor. Come on. Come on. Let's get in the car. While many roads lead to prison, only one leads outside. Let me tell you your fortune, pretty boy. All right. Igor, my dear, get into the car, please. Take this. Once a gypsy told me the truth of my life. I know that, Lubav. <laughs>